Okay everyone, we're back here in our room and it's nighttime outside so it's time to go out and uh, the townspeople have a poor opinion of people when they see climbing out of roof, uh, climb out of windows and over roofs. I think it's saying that because it's not yet night. Yeah, it's still, you know, the window is black, it's actually not nighttime. Alright, alright, let's go ahead and sleep for, what, 60 minutes? It's nighttime now? Okay, looks like it's night. Maybe now we can climb out our window. There we go, that worked. Okay, there are a few things, uh, as with most of your adventures, there are a few things that happen only at night. So let's go and find out a few of what those things are. One of them is uh, right here. A shiver of cold comes over you. You sense no danger, but even so you find yourself afraid. Oh, wow. Hey. I am what was once the paladin Piotr. The sorrows of this land are my sorrows, and I cannot rest. Thou art a paladin, and so shall share my fate, unless he ease the sorrows of this land and heal the pain. Hmm, he looks slightly familiar. He looks, uh, he looks like every other, uh, Eastern European large man in classical stereotype nation, yes. Uh, yeah, well that was nice. Actually, you only see that character if you're, uh, a paladin. If you're another character type, you won't meet that guy. But yeah, we're a paladin, so we got to see him. All right, let's go outside. The massive gate to this town is securely barred to protect it from things that go bump in the night. You cannot leave the town this way. Sure you can. You just need to climb over the gate. Right, let's try to levitate over gate. No, you can't. You don't have. You don't have enough mana points to cast that I don't spell. Have magic at all. Also, you don't have that spell. What? What? <laughs> Check your stats. Maybe you have magic now. No, you do not have any magic. Oh ability. my god, that was funny. It magically le <laughs> levitated him over, even though he doesn't even have the levitate spell or any magical ability whatsoever. Try it again. It'll probably happen again. Let me slow down the game slightly so that we can see that a little better, because that was pretty funny. Levitate over gate. Says you don't have enough mana points to cast that spell, and there he goes. Oh my god! <laughs> well, that was pretty awesome, I have to say. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, continue on and just pretend that never happened, shall we? Let's see now. Um. Different monsters, as you can probably imagine, come out in the uh, in the forest at night. Uh, they tend to be a little bit tougher to fight. Uh, let me see. Also, some interesting things that you will only see at night in certain rooms are, you know what? Let me in certain in certain screens yeah. of the forest. Yeah. Let me go ahead and save here because uh, I think I might be able to do this, but I don't want to die in case. Uh, in case I can't handle it. I think in the next room is... Yeah, see this? You feel a chill go through you as you enter this part of the forest, as if a cold wind suddenly sprang up from nowhere. And see, there's that oh, red... Oh, your, your health is going down Our already. health is going down, and this thing suddenly comes out. Whoa! Whoa, what is that? Goodness. Okay, as usual, I'm just going to turn up my aggressiveness and down my defense, just so we slash the heck out of this thing. You uh, don't seem to be doing a very good job. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, we're winning. Yeah. This, Yay! This won't be too bad, ha -ha. actually. Ha ha ha. The wraith vanishes into nothingness, and the air slowly begins to regain some warmth. Ah, so that's a wraith. Yeah, that was a wraith. There are a set number of them in very specific rooms, or screens, screens, of the forest. There are five of them in total. We just killed one of them. Technically, you're not supposed to be able to kill them until you have uh, something to protect you against their energy that drains your life force, but I killed that one quickly enough that, uh... Anyway, once you kill a wraith, you can raid these barrows. You see a raised mound of stones. It gives you an eerie feeling. You can tell that this is a place of death. Didn't it say in the library... What? Didn't it tell about the wraiths in the library, or am I just imagining things? Oh, maybe it did. I don't remember. But yeah, this is a wraith's barrow, and after you kill the wraith, you can raid the barrow. So let's see what's inside. The barrow contains treasure that the wraith collected while it was alive, or perhaps more recently from treasure seekers less fortunate than you. You find a jewel-studded tiara, six gold kopecks, I'm sorry, six gold crowns, 40 kopecks, and a few old bones. Wow. Well, the money is cool, and the tiara can probably be, uh, I don't know. Where used. is it? 
Oh, it's part of our treasure. Like jewelry. Bones. Jewelry. This fine jewelry is undoubtedly very valuable. It just gets lumped into the category of jewelry. And then we have some bones. Can we ever use them? Yeah, you've picked really? up a few loose bones, undoubtedly hoping that they'll give you a skeleton of a chance of leaving this place. Ha ha ha. Yes. Yeah, the bones are useful, actually. All right, and let's see. Let's see what else we can find in the forest at night. Oh, my. Oh, oh it's, uh, it's a faintly wispy sort of creature. It's not killing us. A ghostly figure floats near the center of this clearing. Can we do anything with... The oh, oh. Oh, it's coming towards ah, us. Is it friendly? Don't kill us. Uh, oh, oh, just sort of stop next to okay. us. Okay. I think she likes us. Tell her she's a ghost. Greet her, help her, say goodbye, or make thief sign. Uh, she's probably a thief. Let's make the thief sign. <laughs> you adopt the traditional thief sign position, wiggling, yeah, blah, 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 the same thing. No one seems particularly impressed. Okay, she doesn't care. Um, hello, ghosty person. Hello, can you help me? I seem to be lost. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess so if you're out here. Uh, can we help her at all? You tell her you will help her. Thank you. I'm just trying to find my way home. Can you show me the way to town? Sure. Uh, it's a little bit north of here. Um, just, just, let's go to town. Uh, I don't think she'll follow us. Sure she will. Yeah. She... She doesn't. See. Hey. No, she doesn't follow us. There you are. What happened to you? I thought you were going to show me the way to town. Well, if you'd follow us, maybe I could help. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to her about a few things. Let's ask about ghosts, because, uh, you know, maybe she's seen some ghosts out here in the forest at night. Please don't talk so. It's bad luck to speak of the dead. They might hear you. Okay. Oh, the ghostly apparition vanishes. What? She just kind of vanished into thin air. How rude. That's not very nice. Let's see if we can find her again. I don't understand. Every time I try to follow you, I find myself here again. Why can't I leave this place? Why can't I go home? Well, let's see, let's talk to her some more. What's your name, ghostly spirit? I, I... I can't remember. I can't even think of my own name. What's wrong with me? I don't know, maybe you're just getting a little forgetful. Tell us about the, uh, the forest. Like the Rizalka, yeah. Yeah, why are you out here in the forest anyway? Every time I try to go anywhere, I keep returning here. Why am I so lost? I don't know. I guess women aren't very good with directions. Boo! All right, let's... Actually, I'm terrible with directions, too. Yeah, but uh, I'm, sure there's, I'm sure there are women somewhere in the world who are okay with directions. Anyway, let's see. Where's your home, ghostly, nameless spirit? Probably town. Ghost, yeah. Everything is so hazy when I try to think of things. It's like trying to look at things far, far away. I should be able to remember my own home, shouldn't I? I would think so, but oh well. All right, let's see. Uh, you know what, ghost? I have some harsh news to break to you. I'm sorry, but you know what? You're a ghost. No, no, it can't be. No! The ghostly apparition vanishes again. When is she gonna just face the truth and just... I remember now. I was walking home. Something started to chase me. I tried to run. Something knocked me over and everything went black. I'm dead, aren't I? I really can't go home again. I'm just a ghost. I'm afraid so. On the bright side, there are lots of nice trees here in the forest to keep you company. Hello, <laughs> ghosty person. Forgive me my manners. It's just that I'm not used to the idea that I'm dead. Well, you'll have a lot of time to get used to it now, because I don't think you're coming back to life. <laughs> Let's see, do you remember your name now by any chance? My name is... was Anna. I can remember things now, but everything is like a faded dream. Well, now we know the answer. Now we know who this is, because somebody in this game has already mentioned Anna about 500 times. So... Let's see. Do you remember where your home was? I can remember my house now. I live, lived beside the tall oak tree near the center of town. I've been gone so long. My poor Nikolai. Okay. Well... Talk I, about ghosts. Yeah, I guess I can ask her about ghosts as well. It seems so strange to think of myself as a ghost. Everything is blurry. There is no day or night, only this shadowy landscape. 
I want to go from here, but I cannot leave. I can only wait. Wait for what? Alright, is there anything else we can say? I guess just bye. Bye, ghost. Goodbye and farewell. Okay. The ghost the apparition vanishes. Oh, that was nice. Well, at least this time she vanished at an appropriate time. Yeah. Alright, um... This is also an appropriate time to stop the video, because I'm out of time. So, goodbye viewers, it's time for us to vanish into nothingness. Goodbye and farewell.